presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, content fill line width, one of the new features in Pro Presenter 7.4. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn all about Pro Presenter. My name's Paul Allen Clifford. One of the cool new features in Pro Presenter 7.4 is one that seems kind of obvious when you think about it, but it wasn't included in ProPresenter 7 um, or ProPresenter 6 up until this point. So uh, what is it? It's content fill line width adjustments. So what is that? Well, if you haven't seen the video where I talk all about all the new features in ProPresenter 7.4, by all means go and watch that. But I actually have an example here on my monitor. And that is, you'll notice that I've got this background line here, the black background that really helps these uh, lyrics pop away from this photo of my wooden background here. And so notice how that there are three different lengths based on the width of the words. So this fills the entire width because content is... A much longer word than width. So this only fills just the width from the beginning of the letter W to the end of the letter H and this middle one until the end of the word line. So how do we do that? Well it's actually pretty simple so let's head over into my computer and we'll take a look. So here we are. Let's see here. Probably this sermon one will be a good example for this. Um, yeah, actually, let me do this right here. So I'm going to right-click and edit slide here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the text box like I just did. So we see the bounding box here. And I'm going to select Fill. And let's fill it with the color. In this case, let's just choose black just to make it simple okay next thing we're going to want to do is go over to the text box here and select lines only and now you'll notice that it only is doing uh, the line behind the actual text that's not new what is new is that i have another drop down here right under lines only it says full width, line width, or max line width. So full width is just the width of the entire line. And as wide as the text box is, that's how wide it's going to be. So in this case, you know, if I wanted to, I could make it smaller just by tweaking the text box, but I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to hit undo here. So that's what full width is. Line width is the one we see here, which is just as wide as each of the lines. That's how it is. So. If you've got a long line, it's going to be long. If you've got a short line, it's going to be short. If you've got a medium line, it's going to be medium. So that's what that one does. And finally, max line width. So in this case, notice that this uh, one right here starts off with the bullet point on the left and then ends with God gave his son. So that is a longer line than proof of God's love immediately above it. So whichever line is the longest, that's how wide it's going to be. And all the shorter lines are going to be that width as well. So those are the three choices that you can make here. Uh, we can also tweak the horizontal and vertical alignment of things here if we wanted to. But that's not the point of today's quick tutorial. The point is that now you get to decide if it goes all the way across in the text box, 
if it goes um, to the width of the longest line and then all the others are like that or if it just hugs the text and that's something new that they've added in ProPresenter 7.4. If you like this content, I would bet that you'd like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course, which is a free course if you sign up for it with the link that uh, I'm about to give you, which is tdm.fyi slash pro7quick. Go there. You put in your name and email address so that I can create a login for you, and it should automatically create that login for you, and then you can uh, take that class at your leisure. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.